Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Warland 2. I am Spinadex, and this part we'll finish up the final alternate, final part of alternate chapter number four. There we go. Awaiting syrup. I'm not necessarily sure what that title's supposed to mean. I mean, at least the other one is relatively straightforward, but this one's just like awaiting syrup. What? What? Awaiting? I mean, aren't all bosses kind of awaiting to most extent? Yeah, that's kind of what they do. They kind of await the hero, or the anti-hero in, in Warrior's case, but... I don't know, kind of a stupid title. It's kind of like Captured Syrup, except for she's awaiting, or something. I don't know. And this one's a little interesting, because basically... Well, it's not, you can, like, run through these guys. I mean, it's like, what the hell, you know? And actually, there you go. That was a little bit quicker than last time, where I thought it was ingenious by, like, skipping off the sides, but... I just collected, like, all that in just about a second, and I can go this way. <laughs> And you can kind of bounce off the top. Let's see if I can't maybe get over, get over here, get over here, get over here, get over here, get over. Okay. In fact, I kind of feel that uh, from Warland 2 to 3, the fire distance was nerfed a lot because I just got it really damn far away. And now that can I make that? Yeah, I can. You get all the money anyways, except for you can't get those six coins. I honestly don't think it's worth it. I mean, six fucking coins. If you're six fucking coins off, you can just go and like grind off with some random enemy, so it's not really that big of a deal. I just kind of forgot what I was doing at that point. At that point. Let's articulate what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, G? My... Young lingo speak isn't the greatest. Oh, fuck! I kind of thought I was going the other direction. I thought I was going one direction, and then it wasn't. I'm not gonna break into song. That is... Well, it's not something I wouldn't do, but I'd rather break it out into song and into like a song I liked as opposed to like uh, One Direction. No offense to all the people out there that like them. I honestly have nothing against them as people, <laughs> except that they went on like X Factor. I mean, I guess life choices, but suffer for your art, whatever. Just yeah, that's that's all I'm gonna go for there. I mean, I definitely, I definitely appreciate, like, artists and whatnot. I mean, I am kind of, I was kind of an artsy person at some point, and I play video games. Not that I'm saying people that play video games aren't artsy, in fact, people that play video games and make video games are very artsy. I don't understand people that say, video games aren't arts, like, well... I agree to that to some extent, like, some video games aren't arts, but yeah, then some, like, some books aren't art as well, and some everything isn't everything and whatnot. And yeah, um, this one's gonna be the minigame, I believe. Or is that the boss? I think it's the minigame. Yeah, that's the minigame. That's the fourth one over if you're counting. And then uh, you can just like collect the money over off to the sides. And would this like to go faster? Thank you. So I'm gonna collect one of those for fun. And yeah, minigame. Yay for minigames. I mean, you can expect to maybe collect the comedy coins of this level. I mean, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. I mean, that one time grinding was, is really enough for me to, like, actually to kind of coast through the rest of the level with the money that I collect. Or, or coast through the rest of the levels. So I'm not really worried about having money left over as long as I have an easy mode for the minigame to kind of guarantee that I make it. And I almost missed that too, but top right corner. It's like I'm playing pool and calling the pockets. It makes me feel better. But there you go, we got a Game Boy. It's kind of uh, breaking the fourth wall right there, but... Eh, breaking the fourth wall was never a bad thing. Well, I guess people could consider it a bad thing, but I don't. I mean, come on. It's it's the fourth wall. I like breaking things. Go over here. I just wanted this one. I mean, free money, what the hell. And none of them, as far as I know, none of them really give you any different amount of money. They all look like they give you about, like, 16, so... I'm just gonna try to collect the money I can't- actually, I can pro I might be able to collect all of this. No, I don't think I can. So I'm gonna try to, like, stay up here. Because I kinda just want the money up here. If I can get it, I might as well. I mean, that's completely counter to what I was, like, arguing just a second before, but... Whatever. <laughs> Who's counting, anyways? And make it? Make it? Okay. And thank god these don't go off to the side. That was always such an annoying thing about Orgland 3. Uh... Oh well. Um... Okay, I got up there. And, actually right now it's in my best interest to die. This boss isn't that bad, I should say. 
In fact, I'll show you just how easy the first stage of it is. And watch this. Break, jump up, break, and then she's gonna come down, break. That's it, seriously. But then there's these bombs that come around, and they're easy enough to dodge and do ground pound. It's just that... I, you can't charge it in time. It takes a little while to charge the actual, like, bomb so you can do it. But I'm gonna just drop off. All they do is knock you off down here. And then there's money for you to collect. So I figured I might as well go collect this money. You know, just for funsies. Zizzizz. Okay. I still got hit by that. That's the only thing annoying about this escape route. Is it's not hard, but it's kind of a bitch. I mean, it's just, it's just annoying. I mean, there's worse, yeah, but... Whatever. And here is Maple Round 2. Same th Oh, fuck. I never actually have failed to hit her <laughs> on that first stage, even the first time I played it. I'm honestly kind of embarrassed. But whatever. I mean, <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you don't hit her fast enough, because I didn't know that. But I can't believe I missed the hitting her in the first place. Fuck you. <laughs> and why do I keep... Did I overshoot that a little bit? I think I overshot that a little bit. Okay. And then, see if I can sneak into the store, and that looks like a silver boss store. Has that happened before? <laughs> I don't know if it is. Okay, but... Easy enough. Just do the same thing again. And here's the bomb. Okay. Basically, my strategy for this is it'll drop down. I will try to ground pound it. I'll probably miss a couple times. But, once I do, I kind of immediately start charging upwards. And then she's gonna not be there, so I just throw it away. I just kind of hope that she goes in the opposite direction, because that's when I have it timed right. Oh, and I let go of the up button! Shit! I had it that time, too. God damn it. Oh, well, it doesn't really get all that... What the hell? I... What? I hit the top that time, I don't... Well, whatever. But yeah, I'll cut ahead to when I actually do it, because there's no... Eh. I'll try one more time on camera with commentating. Maybe it's just a concentration thing, maybe it's just... But I don't know, I might as well fill the episode with one more... One more boss battle with my lovely voice and... Maple's lovely face and everything, you know. Okay, let's try this again. Let's have these big poison bombs drop down on us, and we will turn them in. It actually kind of looks like pipes on the top of them, like Mario pipes. And like death flowers in them, not even skulls. But come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, come on, that should have hit her. But yeah, well, there in mind is the point that uh, it's just... It takes so damn long to charge it up that high. In fact, I can probably jump. I'm actually gonna try that. Let's see if I can actually do that successfully enough to not mess it up. I actually want to try to see if I can get that on camera. Or at least my first time. Okay. Eh, eh, nope. Doesn't get high enough. Yeah, as I thought, it's pretty much just to be a dick. And I didn't get this one. Oh well, I'm not sure how the explosion affects you, it hasn't really... I haven't really been hit by it. I mean, you can kind of clearly see when it happens. There you go. But yeah, this bomb doesn't get any different, the other one does get different. Oh, this one does get different. It didn't get different last time, I don't know why they did that time. But yeah, I'll cut ahead to the, I'll cut ahead to the successful attempt. It shouldn't take too long, but yeah, I'll see you guys then. And that was embarrassing, I'm gonna actually show me being right right now. Okay, now I'll see you guys again later in just a second. Literally. <laughs> Bye. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, was, I'll take this time to cut back and just kind of explain what just happened there. Basically, it kind of tracks, the second one tracks you. So if you jump too early, there's almost no chance you're going to get it. So you just need to do it at the last second. And I did that again. Jeez, I should really stop showing that. But yeah, in the last one, it'll basically like ground pound into your place, and it's not really all that bad. I made I made that one mess up like look harder than it actually is, but I'll cut back when I actually beat this boss. There you go. Oh my god, that took way more time than it should have. Just goddamn, it's just. Ugh. But there you go, that's the final boss of, uh. 
<laughs> this storyline. I mean, as you saw by the number of coins I had left, I was having a little bit of... A couple of issues, just a, just a few. Um, with falling off and getting back... Uh, just... No, no. I'll talk about that in the credits, whatever. I mean, I will just sit here and... Okay, that could be... Still be a four. Um, one or seven or four. Still not helping me. Still not helping me. Seven, okay. Oh, well, not too bad. I mean, I have 1,863 coins to, uh, get, like, five levels, and I'm not sure if the last one was a tile piece. I don't think it would. Yeah. Okay, so that should be fine. Hope I can literally not touch anything, and as long as I got 500 coins cumulative over the last five. Ah, uh, but whatever. Anyways, here's the ending. Not really all that funny in my opinion, but... Random hole gets blown in right here, and then... Team Rocket's blasting off again! Again, again, again. This is the fourth time, right? Yeah, that sounds right then. But yeah, then Hoyer just like pops out. And of course, he has like his money. Pretty much the same money he's been like trying to collect this entire time. And he gets all happy about that. And... Yeah, pretty much it. Now, for the credits. Which, when I was watching them, it seemed like it was kind of like a mixture between the ones we've seen so far. I mean, I was pretty sure I'd seen like all of the clips, like this is the very like first one, then there's like, or whatever. But anyways, uh, as for Maple as that boss, um, the second bomb dropping, that kind of gave me the most problems, because it doesn't really... It doesn't seem like it's so much as it, like, tracks you, as it randomly decides on a level. And very- sorry about that. Very rarely will it actually, like, be in the bottom one. So you just kind of need to high jump and hope for the best. And, uh... <laughs> and then the third one just kind of, like, drops down into, like, around the middle, so you walk and then you j jump it happens. So you don't really need to ground pound. I was just ground pounding and I kind of discovered that in, like, the, in, like, that last boss battle I didn't need to. And I was like, oh, wow, that would've helped. Yeah, the, Mr. Owl's carrying these again. I'm pretty sure I've seen that too. I'm pretty sure I've seen like scenes of all of them, so like this is like not very original credits in my honest opinion. But I guess it's entirely possible someone found the secret exit first, and then like the distance to the first one they'd see, so they they think that the other one was unoriginal. But that's by the point. On Ozaki Nobuhiro. That was decent. Oh, uh, but yeah. That's for what I was talking about before. Um, I do have a capture card. I have been playing around with it. Um, and I did buy World and Shake It, and that's a game I've been considering playing. The only problem is, um, I don't have a Wii in my dorm room. I mean, I have access to ones so I can still play the game. But, and then when I was trying to capture it, I, uh, I was having some issues with, like, the quality and, like, the, uh, letters and everything like that. So it might be a, uh, I'm not sure what it is. It might just be how I'm compressing it. I'll play with it, on, with it a little bit, but I intend to play that game eventually. Um, I do really like Warland games, so I'd like to keep playing them. Um, I'll probably end up playing Warland 4 eventually. I don't know. I was talking about Metroid Prime earlier as well. It's always something I consider. I do have a GameCube here. So if there's, if someone wants me, if the people are interested in that, like I could try to do that at some point too. But I would like to play that game at some point. I have. One and two, I don't have three, but three is for the Wii anyways, I believe. Um, as for other games I have, uh, Pokemon Colors in was actually one I was considering for a while, but that was, uh, not sure your Condor is playing that, and I don't like playing games at the same time as, like, other people that I sometimes watch, because I try to watch. I don't know, Sugar Conroy's LP is, is, they're, like, super watched, super popular, but I just like that they're kind of, like, informative. I've never been able to finish an LP of his, but I've been trying to finish, like, watch along with that one. Because it's interesting to see what he has to say. Instead of, like, trying to be, like, entertaining in his own right. Even, like, on, like, the runaway guys and stuff like that, he's, uh... I don't know, he has stupid puns, and I guess I can relate to that, but I don't know. Um... I don't know, I can talk games some other time. But that's just how, that's just where my line of thinking was going. Um, anyways, yeah, the two birds return to this one, too, I guess it's kind of like a common theme, I mean, besides the fact that warriors and all of them, so are these two birds, so cute, I love birds, I really love birds and trees, that's why I have like, a bunch of, like, shirts that have, like, trees and birds on them, I don't know, it's just me, although I'm wearing more of dress shirts now, but, I don't know, trying to class up my wardrobe, huh, trying to be a professional, even though I never tuck in my shirt or anything like that, but, 
That's his personality here at the thing. And there you go, Warriors returned safely home with all of his money. I don't remember if anything happens to the castle, I don't think so. No, I think it's just him being content. Yeah, presented by Nintendo. Thank you, Nintendo, for presenting such a enjoyable game. I mean, don't forget we still have a, another alternate exit to go, and then the secret level that I still played, and I still have no clue what it's about. I kind of really want to, but stage clear, 90%, right? Yeah, we're in A minus territory. We're getting up there. We're going to. We're getting up to that 3.3 GPA, I think? Or is it 3.6? 3.6 is not A minus, yes. Yeah. Or 3.7. I don't know. But yeah, all the try. Oh, okay. I was confused because I thought there was like five in the bottom and like, well, whatever. But yeah. I will just quickly uh, switch on back. I moment, bitter. Eh. I don't know why that one took too long. Anyways. There's our ending. And in the next part, we will take on the fifth and final alternate exit of the game. We're getting up there, guys. We're getting close to completion. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next part. Bye. Now. Yeah. Bye now.